Hello YouTubers, Kaminari here. Um, this is a vlog, but it's called a hidden face vlog because I do not want other people who knew me in real life take this video, show it to a co-worker of mine, and probably show it to the higher-ups and say I did this um, and get myself fired. So best way to do it is a hidden one. This is actually the topic called... Uh, workplace discrimination. Now, the story I will tell you is actually happened a couple of nights ago. I was uh, working closing at my job. I work for a dollar store, nothing special. Uh, but I had two co-workers who never really liked me anyway, but I've tried to be as nice and polite to them as possible, even answer their question truthfully. And, uh, their names are Terry and Nicole. Um, Terry is, how can I describe her as not a very nice lady at all, even though she comes out like that. I even told them, well, you did this and that. And despite that, she made comments, for example, oh, I'm going to get bipolar. I'm going to be this distraught. I think I'm going to kill myself and all that. And I took that as an insult because she she needs to understand that I do have these disabilities despite that I try to keep them well hidden which is not true um she have done this in the past where she makes comments like you need to go on break or you need to go home I don't care because these are your hours I want to tell her, look, you can't say things like that. It's not fair. It's very mean. It's very rude. She has a tendency to be rude towards me and polite towards others. It's like, I don't deserve this kind of disrespect. I don't really care if you're this and that. It shows that you need to show the same respect uh, to me like you did with everybody else. And um, when I work with her... One day, it was, I think it's back in January or March. I can't really remember. I had to work. Come in a Thursday morning. I was there from 8 to close. Or not 8 to close. 8 to 3. And I walked in late. I was late for about a couple of minutes. But I was on my way. And I even explained to her. It's like, I'm sorry. This, I can't do that. Because the man, these are the manager's hours. Um, uh, and the person she wants me to cover is a manager. And I, I told her I can't. She was supposed to be the manager of that night, so I told her I can't. So, um, she come in, I saw her unexpectedly, like, what are you doing here? She said, she made a comment, like, I'm here just to help you guys out because I heard that whenever... DMs are coming by here to expect your store. The truth be told, he never came. Her DM never showed up. And um, I was there for a good 8 to 3. I haven't seen her. She laughed like, as soon as I went on break. And she makes comments like, whenever she works with me, she stays on register. And she makes comments and horrible insults like, you're slow, you're this and that. Sometimes you have to be slow in order to gain a lot of speed. And she never said anything. I'm not even supposed to do uh, a, a certain collection of items that's for somewhere else. And I have to do something that's on a specific aisle, a specific area. She never told me that. And I wish she did. That way it'll make everything so much easier. But I digress. She even said, well, you have to go faster. I had to do at least 11 totes in one hour. It's like, how can you do 11 hours, 11 worth, when you're giving me ones with very small items? And I'm not very fast. I carry everything. You gave me at least double the load. Turns out, I figure out what she was doing. And I told the manager immediately. Um, another moment is she make sexual comments like I should be getting laid here and there I should get dick and all that 
the last incident I actually made, uh, actually known of, was she was in, I was making a comment, something wonderful happened, and it's talking about books. It's like, do you read books? Because the story I was telling her was, I got um, some stolen books back. There were a couple that were actually given to me by my father. One of them was given to me by my father. The other one was given to me by my stepsister. And um, I was so happy to get them back because my older brother dropped them off. So I was extremely happy about that. And then she makes comments like, oh, I thought you were going to go get laid or something. It's like, no. You know nothing about that. Anyway, I called HR and tell them, look, I, I want to be telling you this and that and all that. She found out and she said, well, you lied to this and I got proof that you also did something wrong. And she made comments like, oh, you remember you mentioned my name on your page and Da 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 da. I said I haven't. I only put down one word of your name. I didn't put down your full name. And she mentioned, "Oh, you. You want to know who did this? Uh, who showed me this? It's like, yeah, it's like a customer found this out and showed it to me, and I kept the screenshot. I asked her, show me the screenshot. I want to know which." What are you talking about? Because I only made one comment. And I was more concerned about your attitude. Your attitude towards me. It's like, why are you being hostile towards me? What did I do to deserve this? And she never showed it. She refused. It's like, and then Nicole, our manager in charge at the time, she said, well, I got the same one. Said she made comments like, Oh, everybody in our store knows it, so you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get fired. Well, I'm the lowest of the totem pole, and I said, I don't really care. Like, you don't know. So what I did, I went on my personal Facebook, what I meant. It was back in November, and I have got a call from my DM, and I, who is our HR. I said, look, she will do this. She will tell you. I've even told you what she told me. I checked. I didn't put anything on there, really. I only mentioned one word, one name, not a full name. It could be anybody. And as for location, I never really told where I work at. It's like no one cares. Uh, you know, on Facebook, it's like where you work at. I never really tell them because we have a policy of that. And... I, I love it at that. And we had a conversation yesterday about my meeting with an ex. I told him I stood him off. The truth be matter is I didn't go. I didn't feel like going. I actually fell asleep during the time. And technically he never wanted to show up. I even wanted to tell her he never wanted me in the first place. But I have information that he wanted, but I wanted to refuse it due to the fact that I, he abandoned his own son in the first place. Like, I tried to, I did everything in my power. I didn't, didn't say anything. She said, you also lied. You also made excuses, so on and so forth. And she's like, you need to be with your son more than you do whatever you do. It's like, it's too late. She makes comments like I was, um, uh, I do this for kids. I even take care of someone else's kids, even though their parents are not doing well and all that. And yeah, this made me feel a little skeptic on, on her past. I mean, how can you? be a temporary parent where you do this and that what if a kid has behavioral problems like I do 
what would you do? Do you take any classes? Have you? You were supposed to take classes. I have a feeling that she's been lying to me the entire time. She have lied in the past. I even talked to um, those who are of she claims. And she lied every moment, every time. And I wonder how did she get away with it? And I last night she made comments the same night. That, that very night, she made comments, and I felt that I'm very powerless to report her. And her comment was, the next time I report her, she'll take that as something racial, and said, well, Kami's being racist. Let me be honest with you guys. I am not a racist. I have friends who are Chinese, I have friends who are Japanese, I have friends who are black, white, Hispanic. I have friends who know me since grade school. I had friends who knew me now. The thing is, I'm not a racist person. I wasn't raised that way. I just don't care. Who you are is your character. And I've been trying to explain to her. It's like, I do not care if he's black or the people who want him black or white or whatever. It's just their character, their attitude towards me or towards everybody else. You rather nice and friendly towards Nicole and everybody else where at the same time you're racist towards me, you're discriminated towards me, and you want to pull the race card on me just because she's black? Uh-uh. That doesn't fly there. I will I will pull the same race card. It's like, yeah, you're being racist. You're being racist towards Irish people. And what's your problem with that? Yes. The truth be told, if you actually did look at my my game culture channel, your game told culture video about a Pokemon that it, it, Irish folklore in Pokemon. Um, I did admit I am Irish. To be blunt, I am three quarters Irish. I'm just a, I'm just one fourth of hodgepodge. That's all I can say. But I am Irish. I see myself as full Irish. And there's nothing to do about that. But anyway, the Irish gets more discriminative. Dis yeah, discriminated by everybody else. We more we are more discriminated than blacks because how we are. And I don't care. The truth be told, there will be a truth that will be shown, her lies will show, and I have proof that of her lies. Although I don't have proof of that comment that she made because I was like too busy reading whatever my grade school, my former grade school friends were talking about. I mean, we're still friends. I mean, still, we've been friends we're starting to reconnect and find out what was going on. I have friends who are Jewish and I'm very fortunate I have more friends than that. I even discover more about myself through my friends. But even though I'm not that kind of person, I'm not lazy and all that. Yes. One thing I would probably would do if she ever pulls that ever again. She is being dis I'm going to pull the disability card. It's like you're being discriminating. You're discriminating me because of my disabilities. And I'll pull a double whammy of you're being racist towards me as well. And she'll probably get in trouble more. It's like I'm not ashamed of my disability. I don't even care. 
as long as I work hard, prove to you that I'm a decent person of society, and yeah. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also the thing was, how do I know she was lying? I have a friend who is also a manager who I look up to. It's like, come on, let me look up to you. Like, you guys are supposed to be role models to us lower people. Even though I've been with the company for five years, I don't even care anymore. But... You need, you need to, like, guide us, help us out a little bit. If you decide, well, I'm not going to help you, you deserve it anyway. Let me be blunt to you. I was trying to be nice. I said, well, I like your hair that way. It's so pretty. And the lady just said, well, you shouldn't say that because I don't appreciate it. It's like, no, it look, the color is really nice. I mean, it reminds me of, like, Oreo cookies or something. Although Oreo cookies is considered a um, a racial slur, but I didn't mean it that way. So yeah, and honestly, Nicole is just anyway. Nicole is the same way. Actually, I've confronted her why is she being mean. It's like, a uh, dude, she t she told me. I don't even like you. And here's something else you did know. Why I'm always switching my register. is because you're lazy. You don't do everything right here. And then you can't catch these criminals. Who is out there stealing our stuff. It's like. I was recovering. I'm going. If any of my co-workers. Uh, are watching this. Let me be honest with you. I am not lazy. I get tired easily. I've been trying to keep myself with more energy, keep myself awake so I can be efficient. Um, if I were to take any of my medications, my current medications, I will not function normally like I do now. And that's because I end up falling asleep. I had Terry send me home because of the medication. I asked her, I don't feel well, I'm going home. Even though I don't want to go home, period. I'd rather be, like, sleeping outside in the snow at the time. But, yeah. Um, if I'm wandering, you guys claim I'm wandering. I wasn't wandering. I had something in my hand. I was pointing them back. It's not wandering. How do I wander if I found one piece of item? One particular item, let's say, a sofa does not belong in, let's say, food. I take that, I put that back. That's how I say. Logically, that's what you're supposed to do. It's not wandering. You guys say, well, you wander the store a lot. It's like, I don't. And you know what? That's a particular lie. I was like, she's lying. She's been lying to you the entire time. Just so I can get more in trouble. That way I can get less and less mobility. And make me stay in a particular spot without anything else. I will not progress because they say, well, you deserve it because you are just a big bitch. Yeah, you know what? This bitch has a reason. I want justice. I want this and that. But you're not giving me because you've been re mean and rude. She's been... Terry has been rude to me a lot. She makes, of course, she makes comments, like, so snide comments. I want to, like, punch her in the face. But I can't because, you know. And she gives me that, like, whenever I look at her face, she makes, like, a chewing way of talking to me. As if she's chewing me. Treating me as bubblegum. Or some form of food. A dude... You don't do that. It's like, you've lied too. And she said, well, you lie, he lies. You're both even. It's like, well, I have a reason to lie. One, the reason why I lied to uh, Danielle, actually her name's Denise, but she, I don't care. It's like she heard. The reason why I lied to Denise of my whereabouts because I don't feel safe when I'm around here. 
when I'm living with her, she ends up abusing me, calling me a liar and all that. And I question her. Like, do you have any proof? I even verify a, a thing with a coworker and friend. This is what she said. She did not receive anything from her because she was not friends with her. I thought you, she said she hand out text messages to everybody. Well, the joke's on her because she didn't send anything and I wanted to question her the truth. It's like, you know what? You're a big liar. It's like I never mentioned anything to her. I never did. And it, it makes me very upset because I think the only reason why she wants me in trouble all the time is because she never liked me anyway. It's like I never liked her anyway, but she... Honestly, she deserves of being told, like, you're lying to her. You're lying to her. You've been always lying to her. And if you're going to pull the race card on me, I can pull a double race, a double whammy on her, and she'll get more in trouble. It's not fair. It's not nice. And I haven't done anything to deserve that. And it's not, it's technically not her business. I even told her, it's like, I'm, was talking of something about completely different. I was talking to former classmates. And I'm smiling because I was happy to hear from them. I haven't heard from them in over 20 years. And to be frank, I do miss them. I do. My friend Amber, my friend Ashley, my friend um, Stephanie, Reed. Reed wasn't really a friend of mine, but I, I consider him a pretty good guy. He has changed. And I wasn't that po I wasn't very popular in grade school. I wasn't even, um, I was dealing with my own demons. And anyway, I digress. I'm getting out of a tangent here, so. It's, to be quite fair... Is she, uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's my skeptical, skepticism and my paranoia has started to get the best of me. And I'm afraid to come out to my higher ups and tell her she's been doing this to me and I don't deserve it. She needs reprimanded. I can make up a lie. It's like, just make, just tell me. Just tell her that I was, just tell them it was an honest tip. Tell them like a customer heard it and want to talk to you. Just lie, just make sure that she felt that what she was doing was wrong. I'm not a bad person, I'm just that way. And... I want to do more to my own store, but I can't do anything because I was being discriminated by Terry and Nicole. It's not. Anyway, sorry if I'm making so much of a fuss here, but I want to get this out as a vlog. Honestly, there, if I can find a way to get out of my job, I can. And I want to so badly because I don't think being with this store and company is worth it. And they won't do anything about it. And she even threatened me. She, she even threatened me to sue me. For um, um, liability, and um, making stuff up just to make myself look better, even though it is the truth, and she's been lying the entire time, and yeah.
anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm sorry. It's going to take about a while for it to upload and all that. But yeah, thank you for so much for listening. If you want to uh, see any of my vlogs here and there, um, and make any contact with me whatsoever besides YouTube, please like and subscribe and go bug me on social media. It will be very great. I'll be very grateful. Anyway, thank you very much and have a great day.